So, we want Black Mango to be seen as an initiative. Um, it's not for us much more than our exploring something that we're passionate about yeah. and also encouraging artists in the process to explore what they're passionate about. So essentially, it's a partnership as well um, between artists and ourselves to sort of help artists continue in their practice, to encourage them to stay focused on the path. Um, many of the artists that we work with are just starting out, just trying to figure out how do they do what they want to do, how they pursue their passion. So Black Mango is an initiative that partners with artists to help them to figure that out. And it's primarily you know, driven by our collective energies, though we are supported by so many other people, um, other artists were supported by, I mean, the proprietors of the space that we're in. I mean, we could not have had yeah. the visibility without um, the support of Douglas and, and Tina, and Tina. Um, who operates this space. Um, I mean, we do other things outside of organizing exhibitions here and other art activities, but this has been feeling like home for the last couple of months. Indeed, it has. I mean, going straight into Black Manga, and even with knowing that we have this space here at Grosvenor Galleries, it has expanded what it is that we aim to do. Um, I mean, initially we jumped in, we both have the same desire, both have the same interest in terms of promoting the arts and expanding it beyond what it is. And myself as a visual artist coming into the scene and just going through my own struggles with attempting to identify places to exhibit, um, how do I get my work seen, how do I get it known, how do I get into residences, etc. So I don't know. Us having this general interest, we've been doing projects outside of before we even started Black Manga as an initiative together. So we found ourselves doing exhibitions, curating exhibitions, doing our own projects, um, working with the ministry, with different institutions. And so we kind of pretty much came together and decided let's see how we can then put this on the one heading, on the one roof, and create something that can be meaningful to the art scene, something that can then help to become a voice for all of the other voices that feel that they are pretty much neglected in the arts, so the young ones that are coming up not understanding where do I go with my work, how do I show my work, and even with this residency, um, I think this has been really awesome it's been perfect actually in terms of the persons that we identified they're on three totally different levels but they mesh so well nicely together and they all feed onto each other and learn from each other and develop the work and I think for all three of them their practice has somewhat grown and just being able to have a space that they can know forget about the outside world Forget about everybody else, even if it is just for a certain block in the day, each day, they can just come in, focus on this project, expand on it, they can explore anything, step out of their comfort zone as what has happened with one artist specifically, um, and see what can really happen. And being able to bring in as well other voices that are actually a little bit more mature artists, if you want to say so much and practitioners or even just persons in the art scene, collectors, to come in and speak to them to get an idea of the work so they know they can now start to dialogue with the scene a bit more and know, understand what's really going on and how do they place themselves here. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, Black Mango, we work well together and I think that's what has really made everything successful for us. I would say that there, there are different things that he focus on or that I focus on. We know what needs to be done and we we dialogue with each other, we argue with each other and we're like but we always come to some final conclusion that, that really meshes and works well and I think we're able to to put together an image that is strong about the art scene right now here in Jamaica as well as being the fact that 
the scene has almost somewhat become muted, if I should say so, with galleries closing down, um, not many exhibitions happening, artists not knowing where to do other than they're just in their little spaces and they make one or two works here and there. There's a national gallery, okay, I'm gonna just put for the biennial or try to get in there or Olympia, but they know, saying, okay, you can go to other locations. It's not even just here at Gross. Now we've, I mean, we've done things at Spanish Court. Um, Spanish court. We have done at Ligony Club. So, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of looking on unconventional spaces as mm -hmm. well, that can then be transformed into these exhibition mm -hmm. spaces or spaces that you can just present yourself, mm -hmm. whether it's through exhibition or through a talk. Mm -hmm. um, but it's to create that dialogue between the audience, the work, the artist, and the audience, and even just the work itself. Very interested that this take place and happen. Um, the usual production of art pieces with the ultimate objective of selling is great. Everybody's looking for, you know, to make some money. But you know, I think what is lacking are the kind of peripheral activities and the, um, you know, perhaps less common activities and the again collaboration and exchange. So this residence in particular was very interesting to me and very vital, very vibrant and I'm very happy it's taken place. So that is currently our association, Grosvenor Galleries with Black Mango, where we've been working together having shows but also with this residency most recently with the current event. Uh, but this has really unearthed some different new and exciting stuff I think in my estimation. So. I hope others of us agree and that this is the start of something great and there will be other shows and residences and workshops in the future. I mean, our work is still in its early stages. Very much. <laughs> um, so we are still figuring out what our niche is. Yep. Um, but as was said earlier, what we're doing is really formalizing something that we've been working on and something that we have mutual interest in. And the fact that we work so well together um, it, it, it's more an organic, a sort of natural um, thing for us to do what we've been doing thus far. We have noticed um, some of the other initiatives um, that, happen, that are happening, um, you know, especially with regards to like even downtown Kingston and ensuring that monthly there are art activities um, in that space. So we are also in figuring out what we really need to focus on we want to see as well how best do we partner with some of the other um, artistic um, initiatives, other art spaces that exist, and as well as, as she said before, um, working with non-art spaces uh, to sort of ensure that in terms of the options available to um, stakeholders, be it other artists, be it even people who collect art, or people that are interested in looking at art, um, that they know where they can look and, and where they can go and that there are always options available uh, to them.